So over the last few weeks, I've had a couple of people ask me about this, this symbol, and what does it mean? You've probably seen it in the sanctuary. It's on our uh, pulpit cloth here. It's on the uh, table runner for the communion table. There's actually, there's actually a name for these, by the way. These cloths are called paraments, uh, and many churches have them. And in many churches, you will see this symbol. So this symbol is not unique to the Reformed branch of Christianity. It's not unique to Presbyterians. We inherited these cloths that we have from the Presbyterian church that owned this building before us. But if you were at the Methodist church, the UMC church, Forest Road UMC, where we met before, they had this same symbol. And at the Disciples of Christ Church, where we met on Perrymont, they had the same symbol. I even remember when I was in high school, the Southern Baptist Church that I attended, they had a red cloth hanging from the pulpit, and it had this symbol on it as well. So you'll see this symbol in all sorts of churches uh, from all branches of Christianity. Uh, you'll see it in Lutheran churches, Anglican churches, Roman Catholic churches. Uh, this symbol is everywhere. You'll even see it in Eastern Orthodox churches. It's kind of a universal Christian symbol, and it's a very ancient Christian symbol. Now, I remember in high school asking someone at my Southern Baptist church, what does that mean? And if I remember correctly, it was the piano player. And she said, well, it's I-H-S, which stands for in his service. And that satisfied me at the time. Okay, that makes sense. In his service, the, the lettering is kind of odd to say that, but, but it made sense to me. Later, I, I found out that's not actually what it means. Um, if a church has it in their sanctuary and that's what they mean by it, it's a fine meaning. In his service is a good slogan to have and a good thing to remember in church. But that's not actually the original meaning of this symbol, and many churches, I think, probably have this somewhere in their sanctuary and don't actually know what it means. So I'm going to explain to you really quickly uh, what it means so that you'll know when you come to church and you're looking up here at the pulpit. So that symbol you see when you look up at the pulpit on the cloth there and on the communion table cloth is called a Christogram. And a Christogram is an artistic representation of the name of Christ. They were used in sculpture and in paintings and in manuscripts to symbolize the name of Christ. So one other famous Christogram that you may have seen somewhere is the, is the key row. So here's the name Christ, Christos in Greek. It looks like this. Christos. And if you take those first two letters, the key and the row, and write them like this, you have an artistic symbol of the name of Jesus. And you may have seen this in some churches as well. You'll see this on crosses uh, in churches. Uh, and it's just another artistic representation of the name Christ. When we look at the name Jesus in Greek, here's what it looks like. All right, that's the name Jesus in Greek, Jesus. If you take the first two letters and the last letter and you put them together, what do you get? You get something that looks like this. And that's the symbol that you see up front uh, on our cloth, on our pulpit cloth in the church. Also, we have it as you walk into the church, you know, the big cross uh, on the table with the bulletins in the front of the church. You'll see the symbol there. You'll see it in many different churches. It's just a symbol for the name Jesus, Jesus. And that's what you're looking at when you see that symbol. Some churches even do it in capital letters. So in Greek, the letter Iota here, capitalized, looks like this. The letter Eta, capitalized, is this. The letter Sigma, capitalized, in classical and biblical Greek, actually looked like that. But if you get to the Middle Ages, 
it started being written like that. So if you go to, to some churches, you'll actually see these capital letters on a cross or on a cloth up front. Uh, again, it doesn't mean in his service. It's just an abbreviation of the name Jesus. So when you go to church and you look up at the pulpit and you see this symbol, you remember that everything we're doing there, that all the worship we are offering to God, that, that our communion, that everything we do, we are doing in the name of Jesus.